How do I say, how do I say that I can never be without you? How do I prove my love for you when I keep making all the wrong moves? I tell you that I'm sorry, but I know that they're just empty words. I'm ready to be honest and show you that my heart is yours. I love forever, try to with it, down and it through. So we've now been married for six months. It still doesn't feel real some days. For the first month or so, everyone kept asking us, so how's married life? I never really knew how to answer because it doesn't feel different at first. As the days went on and reality set in, I started to notice this new overwhelming sense of security and the real meaning of unconditional love. <laughs> you make me feel safe. You make me feel like I can do anything I set my mind to and you always make me laugh when I need it the most. I now can see that marriage is a commitment to care for one another and it's a lifelong relationship that's always evolving. Marriages aren't easy, but they're always worth it. You make all my days brighter and I'm so excited to see where life takes us in our future. Thank you for continuing to always have my back and being the most amazing husband and best friend I could ask for. I love you, babe. <laughs> A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being t too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is standing together and facing the world. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. Um, and it's about progression, not perfection. I think it's time that you gave your sweet wife a little kiss. Kiss her! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is my honor and excitement to once again, for the second time, present you Mr. and Mrs. Deontay Owen. Let go of it.